The transport minister was asked about this move just moments ago during an announcement in Brampton, Ontario. Here's what he said. Um, we have been um, seized with the issues at airports with congestions and delays uh, for the last couple of months. And we've been acting. We have um, um, adjusted many of our policies to respond to the surge in demand that we're seeing in the travel industry. Um, we've hired CATSA employees, we've, or we've increased uh, CBSA's officers, and what else we've done is we've looked at other bottlenecks. And one of those bottlenecks were uh, the COVID testing on the airport premises. So what we've decided to do is to remove that bottleneck from airports and to get these tests done off the premises. And while we worked out the new logistics for that, we suspended testing until we sorted out the new process. So now the new process is back in place where there will be no testing at airports. There will be no selections at airports. The new process is where uh, randomly selected um, passengers will be done automatically. They will be notified via email. Uh, and then they'll, ha they'll do their test offsite, either uh, virtually or at a pharmacy. So it is an improved process that takes into account two things. First, the importance of those, those tests for the protections of our public health, for the protection of Canadians. Second, to do it seamlessly in a way not to impact the congestions or the flow of passengers and goods at airports. Thank you, Minister. And the, the next question will be the same line. Um, the mantra of almost every politician, whether it's uh, the city of Mississauga, the, the region of Peel, the province of Ontario, is they're following science guidelines. Where's the science in this random testing of only four airports across Canada and only from international tra travelers rather than interprovincial travelers? Sure. Uh, it is really important, again, for Canadians to know that the government is continuously monitoring the COVID-19 situation. We have seen over the last year and a bit how uh, acting too quickly in removing uh, uh, public health measures can lead to uh, a surge in COVID-19 or uh, a, a reaction with the reimposition of new measures. What we are doing, the, the random testing for international travelers is an early warning system. Uh, it is done in a way to ensure that we are constantly mo monitoring the type of infections that are being important to Canada, the type of genome and the type of variants that are coming into Canada so we can be prepared. It has been proven that over the last year, these public health measures have helped save lives. Canada's uh, death per capita is one of the lowest in the world. Um, one of the reasons for that is because we've had these early warning systems where provincial, local, and other public health agencies were able to react and the public was able to adjust uh, uh, given the new information that we have. So it is proven um, over the last year and a bit that these measures are helpful, are necessary, protects lives, and every single life is worth the measures that we're doing, but we want to do them in a way that does not add further congestions at the airports. That's why we've reached this method where tests are done off sites and where selections is done automatically instead of an, an individual or a manual selection at airports. But if an